In Wolverhampton, there's big trouble in Little China when Johnny and Faye come calling. The two restaurant inspectors have come by appointment, but the manager of this Chinese restaurant is nowhere to be seen. One thing we are sort of quite conscious of is we don't like to be kept waiting too long. Uh, obviously, we like to sort of arrive at the premises and get and get straight into the kitchen for obvious reasons, you know. Hi, uh, my name's John. I'm from Environmental Health at the Council. Uh, we're just here at the premises to do a routine food hygiene inspection. I just spoke to the food business operator. He's actually currently in London at the moment, but we're still quite keen to get in, have a look around, and and make sure that sort of generally everything's okay. Johnny and Faye get to work, or try to. Do you speak any English? Do you speak English? Guess that's a no. Undeterred, the inspectors begin their rounds. Although perhaps we can't talk to anybody, we can still look around and kind of get a feel for what's happening at the premises. It soon becomes clear that all is not well in the kitchen. I've just been looking um, underneath the work surfaces and there are quite significant accumulations of food debris. And that's not all. I've just been looking at the cleanliness of um, the flooring and walls underneath the deep fat fryers here and it's really quite bad. There's a load of oil that's been spilt. They need to book up their ideas. It's up to the inspectors to explain the problems and the dangers of substandard working practices. Yep, yeah, so you've got an antibacterial cleaning pot, but we'll try and find out where they're using it. Johnny has a lot he wants to say. Where do you guys use this? Where do you use it? Okay, where do you use this? So, if, if you were using that, yeah. where would you use it? On the table. On the table, okay. Would you spray that on here? No. no? What would you clean that with? Okay, not, not for equipment. Right. But could his efforts be lost in translation? Well, obviously, the, the reason we're here is to protect public health and make sure that people's food is safe to eat. Well, when you're left with these, when you're left with these sort of conditions, you do kind of think, well, you know, what, what's happening really? And I think the chap's gone away and, and nobody really knows what's going on. Back in Wolverhampton, Johnny and Faye continue their inspection of the Chinese restaurant. Have you got a cellar underground? Underneath, have you got a cellar? Yeah, yeah. Have you got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, After you, Faye. <laughs> we'll send Faye down first in case there's anything scary. The cellar holds a dark secret. It isn't long before Johnny sheds light on it. We've got an ice machine here, which um, the, the girl upstairs, I managed to ask her, you know, where they get the ice, and she did tell me that it's from the local supermarket. Well, it's clearly not. It's from uh, this dirty ice machine, which is disappointing. Dirty ice is as bad as dirty drinking water. So you've got an ice machine downstairs. I'm also here. Ice machine. Oh, Did you not know that? I don't know. Faye is determined to probe deeper. Hot food should be maintained at or above 63 degrees. Now, if this has been sort of at 55 degrees for three hours, um, then it's not particularly safe. The boiled rice is even less. That's like 40, 44. The products that we find to be under 63 degrees, we're going to be looking for those to be disposed of, really. What do you normally do with the, the these oh, items? Oh, bin, yeah. They throw you throw oh, them yeah, away. Now it's a bin, yeah. Do you make any checks here when it's on display? It's a uh, 16, so 16 fly or something. Six. Yeah. But do you check? Yeah. But the inspectors have their doubts. Did they come in for again and the check? So but what time did you last use that probe? Uh, it's a half half one. Half one. Yeah. So that was the last time? Yeah. OK, and no, what temperature no. was it? Uh, temperature is 50, 55. 55. And if it is 55, you should do something know, about yeah, it. OK. So have, you, you didn't do anything about it today? So I, I don't OK. John has had enough for one day. Well, basically, the staff haven't really got a clue um, as to what's going on. When Faye reads the menu, 
another problem emerges. Now I noticed um, in the freezer that the crab claws, what they're offering as stuffed crab claws, there's actually no crab in them. It's like surimi, which is a crab substitute, and then it's surimi flavoured as crab. So they shouldn't really be advertising it as stuffed crab claws because it's misleading to the customer. Frustrated, the inspectors can't reach a conclusion today. Not good, not good really at all. And, um, and we haven't actually asked any questions yet, just from sort of making observations and looking around. Um, we're quite concerned really about food handling practices at this premises.